Hi, welcome back. I hope you're all really well. I've seen a lot of these videos in the past and I thought it was really nice to look at. So I wanted to do one for myself with Levi as well. Levi is now three months, he's almost four months and I wanted to kind of remember for my own keepsake, you know, how his first three months has been or how a day in the life with a three month old has been because it's such a special time and it's so nice to watch back again for keepsake. That is Levi. He's just woken up from his nap, so he's resting and stretching. He is at an age where he likes looking at mirrors and he likes looking at his own reflection. This is the first time I'm doing a video like this and I don't like voiceovers at all. So I don't think the voiceover turned out really nice. However, I like the entire video as it is for my own keepsake. You know, it's really nice to remember this stage of life because it, you don't get this back at all. Someone's yawning and stretching because he's just woken up and he's still really tired um but having said that i hope you would consider subscribing and join the family as well i make videos every week so when you do subscribe you will be notified of the new videos that i upload every week uh that's us signing off now i will see you again next week bye do you want to say bye 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 <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Bless you. My mornings usually start at around about 5 a.m. That's when Levi wakes up for his early morning feed. Usually when he wakes up, he's not this active at all. He's half sleepy. I would always change his nappy and then go and feed him and then put him back to sleep again. Um, but today, surprisingly, he's just really alert and active. And he's recently discovered his fingers and his fist. That explains why he's got his whole fist in his mouth and he's trying to shove it in. He normally feeds for around about an hour all together so that's feeding, burping and you know keeping him upright for a bit before I put him down to sleep again. Once he goes to sleep at about half six in the morning, I go to the nursery to get ready. Levi sleeps in the master bedroom because his bedside crib is attached to our bed still and he finds it disturbing if we were to get ready in that room. So I've got all of my skincare in a pouch in the nursery and it doesn't take long at all. I find myself using a concealer and an eyeliner a lot more these days than I used to before. Once I finish getting ready, I pack everything away because that is Levi's changing table and I don't want it messy whenever I need to use it for him. Once I'm ready for the day, I spend some time praying and this is usually my quiet time. If I don't get it done first thing in the morning, there is no way I can find time throughout the day to do this and it always feels good and relaxed to be able to pray and you know commit the day to God before I start doing anything else. Um, while Levi is still sleeping, if I've already finished my prayer and getting ready and I've got a little bit more time, I get something else done that I need to do for the day. On this day I was trying to get ready some of the Amazon returns that I needed to do. So I've packed that up so that I can drop it off in the evening. By around about 8 in the morning, Levi wakes up on his own. I haven't had the need to wake him up at all. He wakes up after each and every of his nap. Sometimes it's two hours, and that's usually the very first nap in the morning, sometimes it's an hour. Today he woke up at 8 in the morning. I would normally pick him out and put him on the bed so that he can stretch a little bit. He loves to stretch. I wonder where he got that from. And we spend a bit of time chit-chatting and catching up about his dreams and what I was doing. He usually loves talking to us and he loves it when we are chatting to him. It gets him active. Once he's done relaxing and stretching on the bed, I then pick him up and take him to the nursery on his changing table. I put him down so that I can wipe him and change his clothes and get him ready for the day. He normally has his bath in the evening every day so I wouldn't wipe him down totally in the morning or give him a bath in the morning. I just wipe around his neck and his fingers where he kind of gets it dirty easily because he's chewing his fingers at his fist a lot more now and he's also drooling a lot more so I find that it gets his neck really dirty. He loves it when he's awake and we are talking to him and playing with him and he kicks about and he tries to eat his clothes while we're changing it for him also. 
Um, when I wipe his face down, I make sure I use two cotton wools, one for the face and one for his eyes alone. I always wipe from the outside to the inner eye and I use two different ends to it. This is only because if there is some sort of an infection, it stops it from spreading when you use the same cotton wool for both the eye in the same direction as well. I also do a little bit of leg exercise with him. When he was about three weeks old, we found out that he had a bit of a wind problem, which is very common for all children, for all babies in fact. And we have to help them out each time because the digestive system is just developing and they are learning to move their bowels, they are learning everything themselves. It does help them when you do this bicycle exercise and when you push their knees towards their belly and do some tummy massages. So I make it a point to do it multiple times every day and it's important to do this before his feed. By about 8.30, he is ready for his feed. So I sit in the sofa or I sit in the nursing chair depending on what my mood is like. These days it's usually the sofa where I've got my nursing station ready for him. Once he's done feeding, I normally read the Bible to him and we actually read it together. He really enjoys me reading the Bible to him, whether it's a Bible or the book, but he knows the difference. The way he responds to me reading the Bible to him is very different from reading a book to him. Sometimes he responds to it as if he understands what I'm saying. I read the book of Proverbs to him on a daily basis because it's just easy to follow through and I feel like Proverbs is extremely important. Um, it teaches you about wisdom. At about 9.40 when he gets slightly tired after his feed, after Bible reading and some awake time that he has, I would normally take him to the bedroom and swaddle him up again and then rock him so that he can fall asleep. Much to our family's disapproval, this is the only way that he can sleep at the moment. This is what we've been doing since he was born. I spent about 10 minutes swinging him. The minute I put him down in his cot, he woke up right after and he was smiling at me like this. So I picked him up again and I rocked him, this time until half 10 and he finally managed to go to sleep at half 10. He usually fights sleep a little bit. So it took some time this morning and when he manages to go down for his first nap is when I have my breakfast and I carry on with some other work that I want to do. Today was a little bit of editing that I was doing. This video that I'm editing is about uh, the packing that I did for Levi on our first trip away with him. This has already gone live at the moment and I will link it up for you to watch it if you wanted to. While I'm editing, I always have the monitor in front of me so that I can keep an eye on him and I am aware when he wakes up so that I can go and get him. Um, as you can see, he woke up at about 11.18 this morning. I use this app to track his sleep and his feeding and his um, nappy changing so that I am aware of how much he slept or whether he needs more sleep or how much is fed and the last time that he's fed i feed him on demand so basically i feed him as and when he requests for it but i also keep track of the time so that i know he's not going too long without any feed at all this app that i use is called huckleberry app you can track everything and it's really handy for you to go back and look at all of the averages and the stats and all of those things it's a free version that I'm using, but you can also pay for the premium version where it gives you more advice on sleep especially. So once he's awake, I give him a couple of minutes and then I go and unswaddle him, give him time to stretch. This boy just loves to stretch and it's so nice to watch him do that. And then it's a usual thing. Um, after every nap, I would change his nappy and then I go and do some activities with him and then I feed him. Um, I'm doing some tummy time with him here. He does not like tummy time at all. And the only way he's doing tummy time now is because of this new mat that I got for him. And then we look at some of his contrast books. He actually enjoys looking at this. It kind of interests him to look at contrast things. We also do some reading together just so he can get a flavor of everything during his awake time and he's not bored. I put him down on his rocker and then I read to him. I try and lay him in different places around about the house rather than just on the floor all the time because he's sleeping on his back. I don't want him to be on his back all the time as well. So this rocker is really handy for that. I also give him some time with his teething toy. He's not teething yet at all. But because he's already drooling a lot now and he's chewing his fingers now, I want to try and help him develop with his grip and try and chew something else and not just his fingers all the time. He's not got his hand and mouth coordination to the T as yet, but we are getting there slowly. 
At about 12 o'clock, he's ready for his next feed when he's already had about 45 minutes of awake time. I have my changing station next to me every time I'm feeding him, whether it's on the sofa or whether it's in the nursery itself. And my changing station essentials are very, very basic. It's a lanolin nipple cream, my headphones, uh, a nail file. I've got the heat pack if I needed to use as well. And I've also got a muslin cloth and a TV remote. I hardly watch TV while I'm feeding him, but if at all, there is anything that I want to see then I would watch it with a very low volume because Levi finds it disturbing when I'm watching something really loudly. It was slightly past one o'clock by the time I put him down for his nap and that's when I have my lunch. Usually when I'm having lunch I would either watch TV or would be using my phone or I would just do both depending on what it is. Um, he woke up really really quickly today. He woke up within 20 minutes. Usually his lunchtime nap is about an hour. Because he woke up that quickly I just brought him and kept him with me. I do not let him watch the TV at all. I have him turning facing me and then I'll be having my lunch while I'm chatting with him and I'm talking to him. I don't really know what I chat to him. I probably talk to him as if I'm talking to another adult. I just tell him what I've been doing during the day or what else I have on my to-do list. Sometimes I take pictures and I send that to my family because most of my family live all over the place and due to the pandemic, most of them have not been able to see him. So they keep asking for Levi's updates and they keep wanting to speak to him on FaceTime. When he's really calm, it's the best time for me to cut his fingernails. This is the best nail file ever. I bought the standard nail cutter set for a baby, but I refused to use it. I dare not use it because it was that sharp and it wasn't convenient at all and his fingers were so tiny. I saw in a video that this nail file is really good and I bought it. I was very skeptical at first, but I tried it on myself and it was so good. He doesn't flinch at all when I'm trying to do it for him. I would usually give him some time to be by himself so that he can observe the noises and the movements around him. It's just a couple of minutes here and there throughout the day. Once he's done that, I would then sit with him and go through with whatever I'm doing. I received an Amazon order with some of the books and a few other things that I ordered. So I show it to him so that he can have a look and he can be part of whatever I'm doing. And then we did a little bit more of a tummy time. Um, I was using the Rainmaker this time to entertain him and to get him to look up. Sometimes it's a contrast book, sometimes it's a Rainmaker, or sometimes I just try and talk to him. We need to try and get his attention to get him to look up. There are days when he does it really well and there are times where he refuses to get off his cheeks. He just lies on his cheeks and then he doesn't want to move at all. Once he's done all of these things, I give him some time to rest to catch his breath and then I feed him again. So his next feeding time is around about half three in the evening and then he finishes by about half four and I put him to sleep. If he's wide awake, I put him in his swaddle and then I rock him and then when he falls asleep, I put him down in his cot. While he's sleeping, I catch up with some other laundry and folding clothes and stuff. While I'm doing mundane tasks like this, which doesn't require any brain power at all, I would normally listen to podcasts or songs or watch some videos and catch up with those things or catch up with someone over the phone. By the time Levi wakes up from this nap, Lakshmi will be back from work around about half five in the evening and this is his time with Levi. He'll be playing with him and then we have a quick dinner also. Once we've finished dinner, we give Levi his bath and he relaxes for a little bit before his next feed and his bedtime. Before his bath, we normally get everything ready in the bedroom. I would lay out his towel and his clothes and his nappy uh, before I even strip him down. And we fill his bathtub with warm water and bring it into the bedroom. We're not comfortable giving him his bath in the big bathtub in the bathroom itself. That's why we bring it into the bedroom for now. Ever since Levi turned two months, we've started using a body wash for him. And the one that I'm using here is the Aveeno Bedtime Range. This is so good to help him relax and calm down for the night. There was a different body wash that I was using for him before. It was meant to be for bedtime, but it actually stimulated him and kept him awake for a couple of days. So I stopped using that. 
When we first started giving Levi his parts, he hated it. He wouldn't even last a minute in there. He would scream his lungs out. So we would always rush to quickly wash him down and wipe him down and dress him up. But nowadays, he enjoys it so much that he started splashing water around and he also wants to stay longer in there. As soon as we take him out from the bath, we put him on the towel and wipe him down because babies get cold really quickly. And sometimes there is a bit of a protest when I try and dress him up because he wants to get back into the water again and he doesn't like getting dressed after his bath. When the battle of getting dressed is over, Lakshman takes Levi away so that he can do some reading and relaxing with him before his bedtime feed at 7 o'clock while I go and have my bath and get ready for the night also. I get ready before this because at 7 o'clock I feed Levi and then put him to sleep for the night. He then sleeps until 10 o'clock when I wake him up for his dream feed. If I'm extremely tired that day, I would always go and sleep at about 8 or so with Levi itself. That's why I get ready before I feed him. He's usually dozing off quite a bit by 7 after his bath and after his relaxation time when he's feeding. So we put him down to sleep in the dark room with the noise machine on and then I would do something else. Uh, if I'm still awake, I would then carry on with my own chores or work or whatever I've planned on my to-do list for that day. Otherwise, I would just go and sleep and then I wake up at 10 o'clock with him to feed him. I find that Levi doesn't really burp if he feeds for a long time, no matter how long I try to burp him. So I keep him up on my shoulder for about 15 to 20 minutes maximum to give time for the milk to settle in to ensure that it doesn't all come out when we put him down to sleep. After his 10 o'clock dream feed, I will wake him up again at around about 1 or 2 in the morning if he doesn't wake me up before that to feed him again. <laughs> 